I shot this video because I wanted to illustrate what uh, a night ride with a dynamo-powered headlight was like. So this is a Supernova E3 Pure headlight with the handlebar mount, powered by a shutter precision dynamo hub on my salsa cutthroat. And I'm riding here on the Trans Canada Trail in Burnaby. It's about 8 o'clock at night in January, so it's been dark for a while and it's quite dark. The light's pretty good uh, at above, I'd say, about 15 kilometers an hour. It's nearly full brightness. Uh, totally suitable for gravel at night. It's, this video is maybe a bit misleading. It is, uh, in real life, it's better than it appears here. This is it's close. This is maybe a 80% of what I can see when I'm riding. So it is does have quite a spot light. It projects quite far, but it is it doesn't really light the peripheral as much as uh, a flood type beam would. Now up here on the right, I turn up into the neighborhood and you'll see the light in comparison to the street lights in the area. Get an idea for its brightness in comparison to those. I head up the lane here briefly so you can see what it's like on the tarmac. I may be headed, I may be traveling at 18 kilometers an hour now, 15 maybe, and I'll do a U-turn and head back the way I came. Now off in the distance you can see this orange glow and that's a construction sign so you, uh, it's got quite a projection on it. You can see that it's lit up quite well and the trail's under, under construction so I cannot go that way so I go up to the left and this is a bit of a climb here and I think I slow down to about seven kilometers an hour, maybe eight. So you can see the light does dim slightly there. Excuse me while I blow my nose. Yeah, so it's dimming. Try to get a shot of the Garmin. Maybe we're maybe about eight kilometers an hour there. So here we are at the top of the hill in comparison to the surrounding streetlights again, back on tarmac up to, I'd say, 25 kilometers an hour or so. Just before we finish here, I'm going to do a U-turn and park the bike. So with the bike not rolling, you can see the light sort of dims out. But I want to show you the stand function. So the headlight is still running, although dimly. And the tail light is on as well. Because as, I, as I've been riding, we've charged a capacitor in there. And now that the bike has stopped, the capacitor is slowly discharging through the lights. So the bike stays lit for about five minutes after it's been stopped. Good for stop signs, red lights, that sort of thing. It does fade down to zero. Um, in about five minutes after you've stopped riding. Well, thanks again for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you've got any questions for me, go ahead and leave them in the comments below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Stay safe out there.